we're here. The video you've been waiting for. My branded list, and this is still not the Grants branded list. I'm going to do a separate video on that. This is the list that I came up with and finalized for this new format, the new September Forbidden and Limited list. I'm going to do a tier list video where I'm ranking all the decks, but mainly your main concern right now is beating you bell and this deck is built to do just that it's going to be in depth going into the list and again the grass branded build is coming but i wanted to do this first because this is an asterisk i think grass is not as good as people think but we'll discuss that we wanted to keep the list minimal lean tight and consistent and this is what this deck does i'm also going to show you a side deck today I'm also going to show you side deck patterns today. So this is it. The September format branded SPL list. Let's go. Now, a lot of the ratios might surprise you. This is a 40 card build. I found that this is the most consistent way to play right now. Playing two Alubar. Um, the problem with branded right now is that it does have a lot of normal summons. And as you cut down the amount of cards in your deck, the consistency issues with opening up too many normal summons comes up. So that's a problem. And you don't wanna see, because we need to be playing cards like Kit, we need to start cutting down on the normal summons so we don't break. Because breaking in this deck means you open too many normal summons. So going, playing into a board, means you just have too many normal summons. Two Aluber is the decision here. And also, and this also might seem a little bit controversial, I think two Albas right now is fine. You could add one, you can bump this up to 45 if you want. I think that 40 covers pretty much every basis. And I think two Albas is the correct play here. You shuffle one of them into the deck most of the time. The grind game of this deck is hurt a little bit by having one branded fusion. So you need to be playing for the kill much faster this time around. So like having three for the grind game isn't as important because you need to be ending the game quickly. We're playing um, two Cartesia, which is relatively standard here. Um, two Cartesia is fine, but I am playing one Quem and I am testing this right now. I think that usually more than one Quem is like a little bit of a win more in situations where you get nibbed, where I don't see it happening this much in this format. So the second Quem isn't as important. We are playing two Grand Gignols because that is important because Gimmick Puppet Nightmare and Sanctifier are still legal. However, I think that one Quem and two Cartesias, again, you don't want to max out on normal summons. You don't want to break. Usually decks play like five normal summons, right? And then I think this is still important. And this card is, uh, you cannot break on this card, thankfully. It's Albion the Shrouded Dragon. It opens up the door for Branded and High Spirit plays, which are really, really important because you don't have easy access to Branded Fusion all the time. So this dumping Branded Fusion and or Branded Retribution is really crucial at this point in the deck's life cycle. So I am still playing three of this. Uh, in terms of Bestials, one Lubelion one Serenir, and I'm also playing one Magnemite. I think um, Bestials are going to be still important with Fiendsmith and Ubel. So having Magnemite in hand is really good to make sure you grab a Seng uh, Albion the Shrouded Dragon or an Albaz for your turn. Also, a little bit more dark dragon count for High Spirits and also for Brandon in White, which we also play in this deck. So I think three bestials like this is absolutely the right call. Now, in terms of the the other guys, you know, the ones at the end, one tragedy, one kit is important. You will need to be grabbing branded fusion from Banish, from Graveyard. You know, it's not a playground anymore. Like we need to be working for this. So kit is important in this build. We're playing one Mercurier and we're playing one gimmick puppet nightmare, which is still legal. For some reason this is the monster count it's about half the deck i think it's like 19 or 20 monsters um which is a bit high for branded branded is usually heavier on the spells one branded fusion 
it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Like whether it's this build, the 60 card build, this doesn't really matter. Like having one is just like, once you resolve this, you win the game anyway. Once you resolve this, you should be winning the game. So it doesn't matter if it's one or if it's less or if it's more <laughs> in that case. Um, three branded opening. Thankfully, we still have this. This is a non-starter um, in terms of like, th this is not cuttable. And three deployment. Again, we want access to, like you want Cartesia every single time. Every single time you want Cartesia. And now we're playing only one high spirits. So the reason I'm playing only one you could be playing two. So basically, let me just put the, the other branded cards here, right? These are not cards that you need or want to draw. These are cards you need to search in order to play around Ash Blossom. We'll do a lot of streams this month because I'm off work for like a month. So that's going to be awesome. We'll do a lot of gameplay and you will see that sometimes searching for one of these is better than searching for branded fusion because... Searching for Brandy Fusion might lose you the game to Ash, but these will likely, like especially High Spirits, will not be Ashed and will provide you guaranteed follow-up and Branded Fusion. And if you get Ash, you still have something to lean back on. Now, Branded and White is a good board breaker, and it's also a very good utility when there's only one Branded Fusion because you can use the materials left over in the graveyard during the next turn to start breaking up a board, right? So you could cut down, if you don't like uh, Brandon and White, you could cut it down for another copy of High Spirits. But again, you don't want to draw these. You want to search them off of a Luber most of the time. And one Branded Lost, one in red, pretty standard. One Gold Sarcophagus for consistency. One Foolish Burial. We brought this back into the deck because, again, you need that extra consistency. Right? You want to get access to Alibur and Quem. So you need these cards. And then we're playing, of course, three Thrust. This is standard. We still need this card. And in addition to Thrust, we're playing the one board breaker I decided that is correct to play in, uh, in the main deck, which is Forbidden Droplet. And I'll explain a little bit why I think Droplet is the one. Unfortunately, this, the Fiendsmith Ubel board is really annoying because it has an Omni Negate, but it also has a Negate for both Droplet and Dark Ruler No More. Okay? So usually if you have Dark Ruler No More, which we have in the side, they can just negate it with a Desiree. And it sucks. It really sucks. They can also negate the Droplet with a Desiree. The problem is, and the difference is, the Droplet, while it does require you to invest more resources, it does mean that you can use it to do other things than just Dark Ruler. You can dodge things with it and you can activate it reactively in chain, right? So there is a higher likelihood where you can actually negate something successfully. Because if you drop Dark Ruler no more, it's just going to get negated. And again, it's a, Dark Ruler is in the side because I think it's valuable. So I think this is why I decided to play these ones specifically. Maybe it's going to prove out to be incorrect we'll have to see in testing one talents one call by the grave one retribution and one fusion duplication this hasn't changed 40 cards in the main let's go over to the extra deck honestly like probably like the most straightforward we're playing two albion and two mirror jade in the 60 card list you will probably see one of each which is cool it's interesting um, and one Lubelia. One Titanic Lad, one Sanctifier, one Rindbrum, and two Granguignol. You need the two Granguignol, and I mentioned this in uh, previous videos, to do the Puppet Lock under um, Branded Lost during your opponent's turn much, much better. Like your turn, you play it, and again, I'll, I'll have a lot of gameplay on the channel, you will see how this plays out. You play as if you don't Puppet Lock. And you do the whole Puppet Lock during your opponent's turn. This is why you need the second Granguignol. And then Furious, Stapelia, Guardian Chimera, Queridus, and my favorite card in the main as of late, uh, Masquerade. You put this up against your Bell. It kind of sucks for them. Like, they need to pay a lot of life points. Like, this is a really good Floodgate. It's a really good tech card. 
Uh, it's obviously not a tech card per se, um, but yeah, I really like this. Now, additionally, of course, like if Tenpai still sees play, you're gonna have to play Albalenidas. And honestly, so far I didn't manage to find room for Branded Banishment and Light and Darkness Dragonlord, but in the 60 card build and the Grass Branded build, you will see this. So just remember it's an option. Now, I wanna start off by saying, like this is gonna be the side deck. I wanna start off by saying that I have tested the Gizmic Uka and Ecclesia package extensively. If you don't know what I mean, head over to Metagames GX channel to see. Uh, I think I also have a video about that. It basically what the package does is Gizmic Uka will summon itself from the hand when your opponent goes Requiem Tribute to summon Fiendsmith from deck. Then you can target the Fiendsmith, summon Ecclesia, incredible Ecclesia, the Sword Soul one. Tag it out for Albaz and then fuse on your opponent's turn. Make a Mirror J, take out a body. It's a huge interruption. However, this is not super good against Ubel because you will see Phantom very early. It's not going to resolve, right? So I just don't think it's worth it. It's a four card package and I don't think it's the, it's the most correct thing to do. This is why I don't play it. I did play it. I did test it, guaranteed. But yeah. Molchami, Perulia, very good in Branded. Um, also very good against Ubel specifically. You will get more draws out of Ubel more than any other deck most of the time. And you want to draw into your board breakers and engine pieces. One should all dragon. Um, mainly to out Floodgates, Nightmare Pain, and the Fiendsmith Sequentia, which is equipped to the Desiree. They cannot Desiree it, so they need to have an Omni Negate or waste a Phantom of Ubel. And you can use it to chain block, right? So it's really, really good. Three Dark Ruler no more. <clears throat> Sorry. I think that it is important to have this still. Like, unfortunately, you're going to have to side in like three of this. And then, um, yeah. And three Droplet and Prey. Like, if you lose the die roll to Ubel, I'm sorry. Like, it's not, it's not always game over, but it's definitely an uphill battle. And then we're playing one Change of Heart and one Snatch. I think it's it's really good because you can use like you can really use your opponent's interactions when it comes to you, things like you bell or even you know taking a flamberge taking the ip forcing out something when it comes to like snake eyes and stuff um you cannot obviously target desiree but it will force out an interruption so these are just good one for ones right you just want a one for one, which is great because these provide so much value. If they resolve, awesome. If they don't, you took it an interruption, which is, you know, everything that you want to do anyway. Uh, one duster, searchable by um, thrust, obviously. So we definitely want to play that. The Ubel back row is very annoying. So at least you need to deal with that. And then one, there can be only one in the side. If you manage to stick this against Ubel, you win. The deck is entirely full of fiends and you can play under it very easily and then something that i'm testing right now is three super poly and one garura yes you cannot negate uh you cannot use phantom of ubel however you can use nightmare griffin and fiendsmith um desiree you need something right um, it's either going to be the blue dog and Varudras, which are both um, darks, right? You can't use Garuda for them, but um, I think the thing that scares me the most is the Nightmare Griffin. And I think people are going to go heavily into Nightmare Griffin, so Garuda can really help in those scenarios. Now, I did promise uh, some side patterns, so I do want to show like what I would do if I would go second against um, Ubel, right? So... Exactly what I would do, I mean, you can use Fusion Duplication to go um, to go second. It does work sometimes, but I think in this era, now with Branded Fusion Limited and this deck count specifically, it might not be the smartest thing. We need the thrusts and we need the droplets here. I'm going to get rid of the Foolish Burial when I'm siding right now and also the High Spirits in white. I might get rid of one deployment, I think. Um, Puppet, you do want to keep because the play is to to clear the board as much as possible and then Puppet lock on the crackback. Um, but 
Kid is maybe not mandatory, and going second Lubellion is not that great, and possibly two Albions, right? The rest, I think, are, are mandatory. So we do have a lot of room to play with, right? These are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards, which might be oversighting, right? It might be oversighting. But we definitely want um, we definitely want Duster. And we definitely want Change of Heart and Snatch. Because again, the Nightmare Griffin is annoying. Like you need you need it to have a plan to deal with that. And then three Dark Rulers and probably Probably three Mulchomis. It's nine cards. Right? You will draw into what you need here. So that's like one example of a side pattern. And yeah, this is branded for the new format. 40 cards as lean as possible. But there's going to be a ton more branded content this week and the following week. Because we have a new format and branded fusion is actually limited. So the grass branded build is coming. I'm cooking. I'm promising you that by the end of the week. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, share this with a friend, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.